Good evening, YouTube. I'm the City Prepper. Today is January 21st, 2018. This will be the second out of three videos for tonight. I just did a video using chem lights and the water bottle. In front of you, you can still see the chem lights glowing. Now it's an empty water bottle. I'm going to show you two variations on how to make a rain catchment system to help improve your situation. So basically, whether it's the two and a half gallon water bottle or the one liter size water bottle, you, you want to make it so that you could spread out the plastic to help collect more rain. Because if you simply just have a hole in it, it's not going to collect as much as if you open up the water bottle. And I'm going to demonstrate right now. So in front of you, you have a pair of scissors, you have a, pair, a, a knife. This is a knife that I made using a kit from Man Crates. And you have your water bottle, your two and a half gallon, and you have your one liter. I'm going to show you how to do both. So basically for the two and a half gallon, you want to make sure that your, your container is going to be closed. Whether it's being through a spout or the top of the water bottle, you want to make sure you're able to close the containers. So for this one, you want to make an incision. Be very careful when doing this not to get hurt. Mechanical injury will be the worst thing that can happen right now. Okay, once the incisions are in there, you want to then cut it open on each side, looking like almost like an uppercase letter I. You're simply flaring the plastic up. And you're gonna do that on both sides of this. You're gonna use the top part because if you use this jug before, in order to make the water flow out, you have to insert holes in it anyway. So you're not gonna use the bottom, it's not gonna make sense. So you're gonna to wanna to flare the plastic up so that when the water and rain start to do fall, they fall. It's gonna have this area the rain's gonna fall down into as well as hitting this plastic and sliding right in. So you're gonna be able to catch more in a shorter amount of time to collect the water. Now, chances are if you're in the wilderness, you're in a survival situation, you're most likely gonna have a one liter, a two liter, or the small dollar size water bottles, which I can also demonstrate with. You'll most likely have either this one or this one with you at the time. So, same thing. You want to make sure that the, the cap end is not the end that you're going to be using. You're going to make an incision. You want to save this part because you can use it as a cup for drinking. You're gonna make about six to eight cups, depending on how wide the strips are. I do about six. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. Same thing, you're gonna start bending them back. Again, now you can either lean it on here, you can prop it, depending on how you can cut a hole in here and prop it on here like this, or you dig a little hole in the dirt so that it's balanced. And when it rains, you have now that extra surface area for the rain to hit and collect into here. You have, again, use this as a cup, 
be able to open this and then the water will fall right into there and close it into your cup. And we'll demonstrate with this, same thing. It's gonna be a little bit different. You're not gonna make as big of cuts or as many cuts. Same thing. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can get seven out of here. Individually start bending them back. Again, now you have your larger surface area to collect water. So again, I appreciate you watching my video. Please subscribe, please comment, please hit the notification button and stay tuned for further.